Okay, jokes aside, let's talk about this. But before we do, I'd just like to once again remind you guys that you were still able to donate to Blab to Go, a Team Fortress 2 charity benefiting special effect. The link for that will be in the description. Now let's begin. If you guys aren't aware of what happened, feel free to check out my video where I discuss the whole thing and my take on it. Just like then, we're going to be talking about Valve's actions, but this time, it's the response. The response is visible on screen now, and also available on the Team Fortress 2 page. If you'd like to read it here, I suggest pausing the video now, as I'd like to dive straight into the topic, and not waste more time. Now, Valve's response to this whole ordeal highlights four things. Number one, the first unusual that was added to your account during this whole ordeal, be it via the market, or unbox, will be made tradable. Two, any other hats after that period are locked permanently, meaning they will not be able to be traded and they won't be available to sell on the market. Number three, you may request a full refund of any hats you purchased slash unboxed. And number four, the lead unusuals will be restored to your accounts. Now, this is just my perspective, but I like this outcome for it attends well to a few issues. Number one, since Valve locked all unusuals on this time frame, including ones unaffected by this whole thing, people who had a genuine unbox get to keep their unusual, and they're able to trade it too. Number two, people who abuse the exploit are still left in purgatory at the current time, and depending on how this turns out, could just end up profiting very minimally, which is fine. And number three, Valve is actually attending to this community for once. In addition to this, Valve is actually being responsible and taking a hit from the looks of it, both in time spent and refunds owed, especially if they have to refund, worst case scenario, over $300,000 worth of crates or keys or unusuals. Now, while this is good in one perspective, it's also bad in another perspective. If we have a look at the crates that were opened, being 1 to 25, 82, and 85, with 82 beating the rest by a staggering amount, this does mean a decent amount of Gen 1 and Gen 3 unusuals are just dumped onto the market for free. Now, is it that big of a deal? Not really. Here's how it looks and what it hits, at least from my perspective. Gen 1 and Gen 3 unusuals are fluctuating in quantity, which means there's going to be less of a demand for hats with those effects, regardless of whether you could unbox them or not, which in turn means they're going to fall in price in due time as people are likely to want to just dump them to buy more desirable hats. Now, for the most part, it's mainly Gen 3 unusuals that were affected since Crate A2 was by far the most unboxed crate, meaning it's likely everyone who did unbox streaks would have unboxed Crate A2s just to start them. However, depending on how many people refund their unusuals, this fluctuation very well may not even happen, or be very minimal. Unusual hats of not affected effects that were unboxed, even in bulk, wouldn't be hit, or if they are hit, they would be hit very slightly, because for years, traders have virtually only looked at the effects, unless they were collecting, like Swirly for example, with his unusual racks. If we do see a mass refund, then that's just potential business for people selling unusuals and even for keys to deflate because of mass purchasing, assuming the refunds are in market value. And lastly, as I said before, the unusuals that weren't affected by this, being non-Gen 1 and non-Gen 3 unusuals, as well as a few others that I specified in the video, may rise in demand simply because they are more desirable. The future of TF2's economy itself may turn out to be quite an interesting one, but in general, especially since Valve had stated the unboxings of unusuals that can actually be traded in this event is equivalent to only a month's worth of unboxes, there shouldn't be too much of a change in it, especially with how well Valve are handling this. But that's all for today, folks. I thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. As always, have a good one.